Battle of Naretva is a 1969 Yugoslavian epic partisan film. Written by Stevan Bulajic and Veliko Bulajic, and directed by Veliko Bulajic, it is based on the true events of World War II. The Battle of the Naretva was due to a strategic plan for a combined Axis powers attack in 1943 against the Yugoslav partisans. The plan was also known as the Fourth Enemy Offensive and occurred in the area of the Naretva River in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Battle of Naretva is the most expensive motion picture made in the SFR Yugoslavia. It was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, the year after Sergei Bondarchuk won the honor for War and Peace. The score for the English-speaking versions was composed by Bernard Herrmann. Its soundtrack was released by OnTrack Recording Society in 1974. It was re-released on Southern Cross Records on CD. One of the original posters for the English version of the movie was made by Pablo Picasso, which, according to Bulajic, the famous painter agreed to do without payment, only requesting a case of the best Yugoslav wines. Chapter 1 – Cast Chapter 2 – Production Battle of Naretva was the first of a series of huge, state-sponsored World War II film productions. It had a staggering budget approved by Yugoslav leader Josip Broz Tito. Different sources put it anywhere between $4.5 million and $12 million. Global stars such as Sergei Bondarchuk, Yul Brynner, Franco Nero, Orson Welles, etc. flock to communist Yugoslavia attracted by the huge sums of money being offered. Shot over 16 months with funds put up in largest part by over 58 self-managed companies in Yugoslavia, the movie featured a combined battalion of 10,000 Yugoslav People's Army soldiers. Four villages and a fortress were constructed for the film and destroyed. Several JNA infantry Soviet T-34 tanks, touched up to look like German panzers, met the same fate. A railway bridge over the Naretva in Jablanica was destroyed. Director Bulajic's justification for demolishing the bridge rather than getting the shots in studio was that it would become a tourist attraction. The bridge was thus blown but because none of the footage was usable due to the billowing smoke that made it impossible to see anything, it was decided that the bridge should be repaired and destroyed again. The problem with the excessive smoke occurred again, and the scenes of the bridge being blown up in the film were shot using a table-size replica, at a sound stage in Prague. The Yugoslav public was updated on the shooting progress via pieces in the country's print media. Chapter 3 – Reception In 1999, a poll of Croatian film fans found it to be one of the best Yugoslavian films ever made. 